Big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for making this channel happen. If you also want access to my online swing dance school, consider supporting us on Patreon. Jamin here, make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss anything. If you wanna get access to over 25 of my swing dance courses for free, check out the link in the description below. This time we are going to an event called Leaping Lindy. I think I'm gonna be taking a look at a presentation. I'm not sure if it's a Jack and Jill or if it's a choreographed piece or not, but it's by Maria and Aurelion. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm really excited. These dancers have been around for a while, but What's good about it is that they have been producing a lot of great work and now they're starting to get a little bit more publicity. So I wanna see what they do with it. Let's take a look. All right, I'm ready. I can't be more ready. I hope you guys are ready. My heart's kind of beating. I love newness. Ooh, it's a live band too. Yes, do they have a clarinet player? Hopefully, let's see. Let's see what I can learn. Oh, good song. Okay, this looks like it's improvised, so. Yes. I like how the camera is not moving. I really like that when it's more stationary, I can actually see uh, what the dancers are doing as the focus, as opposed to just what the camera can do with the dancers. And as I say that, the camera starts moving, see? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that trombone. It's amazing how the music can actually amplify some of the most basic movements and, and get a, an emotional reaction from the audience. Okay, looking good. Please let me know, guys, uh, who the band is. I can't see their logo this far away, but uh, that was really good. All right, guys, I got mixed emotions on this one. Let's talk about the good. Let's talk about the mixed. Let's talk about all of it. Let's go. All right, guys, I got to say, this was really special in certain spots. I will tell you up front, I just feel like I have mixed emotions on so many levels. And the reason is, is I just feel like th there's a part of swing dancing that you're supposed to be free to have. And that part, I don't see enough. It should, For me, it should always be 70% originality, 30% craftsmanship. 
or at, at the worst, 60% originality and 40% craftsmanship. And I feel like in this performance, there was only one spot that I could really get a snapshot of who these dancers are and their essence, their personality. And it was this moment right here. When they're doing these swing outs, you see a, a little bit of distinction. There's random footwork here and there. And of course, as they do it, they're watching each other and you can see the subsequent emotional outbursts that they both share together. And, and I don't think the audience can see that unless they're sitting in the front row. But those moments like that really gave me a, a, a little snapshot of who Maria and Aurelian are in their essence. Now, I gotta say in contrast to this, the rest of this performance felt very der derivative. And I don't, I don't even know if people are aware of that. And, and I think, and I say derivative, not in a disrespectful way, but I will say a lot of times when we are learning from other dancers that we look up to, it's partially our fault and it's partially their fault that we never leave home. It's like leaving your parents' house to go get your first apartment or your first house. We never leave and we end up always staying uh, so close to them in style, in terms of dance, we just end up imitating who they are in their essence in the wrong way so that we end up losing ourselves in the music, the moment, you know it, you, but not that way. <laughs> you you want to lose yourself whenever it's th the art way, it's the personality way, not so much where the craftsmanship part of what you're doing ends up being the artistic part to a detriment of you and your partner. I can't blame these two dancers for that. And I, and I, I kind of blame the teachers. People who teach Lindy Hop need to spend more time drawing a distinction between craftsmanship, what it is in its essence, Lindy Hop, the things that we cannot abdicate for any reason, and then the things that are not really fundamental which tends to be the personality and style. And in this case, I'm seeing them kind of being the same. I see style and craftsmanship being crammed together to where you can't tell if these dancers know the difference, if, if they're just deliberately imitating their heroes or if they're just unaware that there are more things you can do with the technique and even your essence, your style of how you move I just feel like that's the fault of the teachers. And I'm a part of that. I, I work really hard to show people the difference in that distinction so that it does it's not just being contrarian. It's not just being, you know, critical, or it's it's not just being someone who's controversial for controversy's sake. It really is out of a heart to liberate you as a dancer to to be more and to contribute to this art so that others can be inspired and totally set free to be themselves respectfully. Now I say respectfully because I think a lot of times when you're young, you just think new is always good. Or you just think being rebellious is always good. And there's an element of being contrarian that's good. You know, you want to think about the future and you want to think about opportunity and push things forward, but you can't just do that in a vacuum, nor can you do it in a way where you're just destroying things that come before. So you want to be adding something new to this legacy, but not taking anything away from what came before. Stripping away foundational things is not the way to go. So in this essence, in this, this dance that I saw, I feel like these dancers are paying homage to their heroes, and they may not be aware of that they're doing that. Or they might be aware that they're doing it, and they, they just feel like that's the only thing they can do. And so... I'm not criticizing Maria and Aurelian for that 100%. Um, I, ju I just will say that a lot of times the students are just afraid. <laughs> the younger teachers were just scared to be yourselves. You might get ostracized. You might get boycotted. Or you just fit the political machine and you just fall in line and you imitate dancers uh, until you, you know, you've earned the right to kind of be yourself a little bit. I think a lot of the old timers did that, like Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. They imitated a lot of their teachers <laughs> because they felt like, well, hey, I have to master it. And they're telling me what I need to do. If I want to have more influence, I just better obey until I have large influence. And then I'll start doing something different.
That's what Fred Astaire did. He talks about it in his book. And so I don't know, guys. I'm feel, I feel conflicted about this. I really do. I, I'm one of those teachers that will just tell you the truth, regardless of how it, it sounds, how you feel. So thank you for visiting this channel if you like that. But I feel like the truth is the grounding thing. We should be able to point out these areas that could help us all grow as people and as dancers. Because we're not just talking about dance here. We're talking about our, our identity and our convictions and our our confidence level in ourselves and what we are putting forth in the world. And I hope, I hope these dancers are not discouraged by my comments, but I only tell the truth so that people can let it sting a little bit and in hopes that it produces something better. But the idea is you want to, to use the points of conflict or the points of pain to produce something new and to be stronger. So that's what I say. I hope this is not the pinnacle of what I see from this couple. I hope they continue to blossom and do more of what I thought was unique in this one. And I hope they suppress the part that is derivative. I don't know if that's going to happen, and I doubt it, but that's just generally what happens. So what do you guys think about this one? Did you think this one was derivative of your favorite heroes, or was this something that was a little bit more unique? So let me know what you guys think in a responsibly critical way in the comment section below. Do you think it's good? Do you think it's okay? Do you think it's awesome? I look forward to seeing your comments.